the period between the highly elaborated music of the Baroque and what will become the classical style was a period of exploration for composers. It looks like composers agree that there was a need for more clarity in the style and less counterpoint in the texture. Some of them were looking for ways to capture in sound all kinds of feelings, but in a more transparent way, with music full of human individualism. But at the same time, other composers were still looking for simplicity, but writing in a more restrained way with great concern for order and form. In the 1770s, a talented teenager, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, was actually exploring all the trending styles in search for his own voice as a composer. His Symphony 25 in G minor, only one of two symphonies in a minor key, is a great example of the highly emotional way of writing that was often called storm and struggle. In contrast, his Symphony 29 in A major, the piece that we are playing today, is a great example of the so-called gallant style with simple harmonic language, less counterpoint, short phrases, and melodies that are easy to sing. The symphony follows the typical structure of four movements, allegro moderato, andante, minuet, and allegro con spirito. And it is definitely a step forward in that search for the perfect blend of emotion, elegance, style, and form that we call classical music. This is Mozart Symphony number no. 29 in A major.
Thank you. 